unto them, what did he say? Speak to who? The children of Israel saying, these are the what? The beasts which he what? Which he shall what? Eat among what? All the beasts of the what? Some folks will not see this because the church will then go. Now read this. <laughs> but listen to what the word says. Whatsoever what? Part of the what? The hoof and his what? Clove footed and what? Shred the cord among what? The beast that he shall what? That he shall eat. So God made it clear that not everything that we see move upon the face of the earth should be what? Should be eaten. No, you see, I, I love how God puts it. Yeah. God didn't just come out and say, These are they and call them in. God is very descriptive. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. So God says, Nevertheless, these shall he not eat of them that what? Through the cord and what? And them that what? Divide the hoof as the what? The camel. Because he what? He chewed the cord, but divided not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. No, listen. <laughs> Holy Ghost, help me today. God does not use just one description, He uses more Satan, Satan dirty. Are you not a man dirty near me? Hello? No, you can't be a man dirty near me. No, you can't be a man Listen, up. Go, go, go back, go back, brother. Go, go back. Let's let's look at what God says. God gave the description, you know, how what you should eat and what you must eat, you know, brother. And where Satan do? Satan changes his name. Yes. I want to forget one. I said Satan changes his name. But one thing Satan can change and the scripture. Uh, are you getting it? You know where I'm going. He said he must chew the cord and he must divide the hoof. Give me a give me give me No. Let me show you this. See if that is messy. And today, when people want to eat what God says, they say, I'm a, a sewing me. So, 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 Ella, they, they change the name. But there is a, there are some features that can't change. Yes. You see, in this, um, same sex world that we're in now. There are a lot of people who are changed name. But there are certain things they can't change. Hello? There are certain things that God put in place that you can't change because it remains. So he said, because it was true, the court but divided, not the hoof. So God is saying, anything you ever eat, check him out. Let me tell you something. Woman, when you look at man, check him out. Man, when you look at woman, check him out. Because there are some people who are parody. Hello? I said there are some persons who are parading other than that which God has created them for. And if you don't check them out, make sure I send them a true cut. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Make sure that they are, they are divided. You have to check out the description. Because if you don't follow God's 
description and instruction. You will eat anything. But you see what he says. Look at this passage. Look at this passage. It says what? And the coney, because he what? Chewed the cold, but divided not the hoof. It is what? It is what? Listen, and our Adventists say, we are reading the Bible. And we just read all scripture is what? Given by what? Inspiration of God. The Bible says it is unclean. So let nobody tell you, say, no, make the seven year people let me tell you nothing. Next verse. They hear. Because he what? Show it. The what? The cord. But divided, not the hoof. It is what? It is unclean. And the wool. And the wool. The swine, though it was divided the what? The hoof and what? And be clover footed, yet it was. So it not the color. It is. No, why on earth would God gone to the length to, to describe it so much? God knows the physical makeup of animals. And he knows that which contain certain things that are not healthy for human consumption. This is the creator speaking, not Adventist. It is the creator that is speaking. So people change the name and call it. Oh, no. Hello? They call it. Huh? Hello? They call it. They call But what other name they call it again? They call it P. Somebody say, listen, I swear in the Bible say, not P. But even if I know that the description is there, not true? Yeah. And what the description says, though it what? It divide the hoof and is what? Close the footed, yet it what? So it not the cord, it is what? It is unclean. Move on a little further. What it says? Of their what? Of their flesh shall he not eat. And of their what? Their carcass shall he not what? Pity, pity. Give me the music, I pity. Wait, wait, let, 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 let me put a little. Let me put a little music to this one, no. And we are, we are, we are going to sing that one, you know. Hello? So that they can let it rip it. Eh? It says what? Of their flesh shall he not eat. Of their carcass shall he not touch. So let's go now. Of their flesh shall he not eat. Of their carcass right? Come on, let's go, let's go now. Let, let, let's take it. Wait, what is this now? Of their flesh shall he not eat. Of their carcass shall he not touch. Alright, you're learning. Let's go again now. Of their flesh shall he not eat. Of their carcass shall he not touch. Of their flesh shall he not eat. Of their carcass shall he not Alright, alright. So the Bible makes it clear. He says, of their flesh, you must not eat. And of their what? Their carcass shall he not touch. That's the word of the Lord. And if we don't want it, we have to take it out of the Bible. Tear it out. It is what the Bible says. And if God takes time out to tell it to us, it means something. Hello? Listen what Deuteronomy 14. Deuteronomy 14. 2 and 3 says what? For thou art a what? What kind of people? What kind of people? Fool, fool people. Hello, somebody? Because you know fool, fool. Oh, no, no sense. No. The Bible says what? For thou art a what? A holy people unto who? Unto the Lord thy God, 
And the Lord has what? Chosen thee to be what? To be what? A peculiar people unto who? Unto himself. Above who? All the nations upon the earth. So God's people are special. God's people are different. God's people are unique. The next verse, why? Next verse, well, verse 3 says what? Thou shalt not eat any what? Abominable things. So verse 2 says, you must eat it. And verse 3 tell you why. Verse 3, 2 says, because you're peculiar. But you see, if you don't consider yourself peculiar, then go on, go on. <laughs> If you don't consider yourself special, I don't have a problem. But if you consider yourself God's people, and listen, I know Adventist saved. I did bad to say. Go back to verse 2 again. Let somebody get what we say. For so what? The water what? A holy people unto the Lord who? Thy God. And the Lord has what? Showing thee above what? To be a what? A peculiar people unto what? Himself. Above who? All the nations that are upon the earth. And because of that, he says, you must not eat what? Verse 3 says, you must not eat any abominable things. You can write down that verse for whom to read the rest. Hey, he started to tell you the same thing that you just read in Leviticus. And what the, what God called these things when, when God said you must eat and you eat it. What do you call it? Abominable. Mean abomination. Which other sin in the Bible he call abomination? When man lie down with a man. And when a woman lie down with a woman, it is called what? Abomination. And so when you eat what God said you must eat, and the same thing. It's the same thing. God says it is a what? It's abomination. It's not Adventist doctrine. It's Bible. So let me ask a question. Someone said, oh, if, if, if Moses and Aaron and the children of Israel that makes it unclean. No, no, no. Go back to creation. Let's go back to creation. And to show you. And since Moses and Aaron, these things are unclean. Listen. Genesis chapter 1, 7 and verse 1. And the Lord God said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy people into the ark. For I have what? For thee have I seen what? Righteous before me in this generation. Listen what the command says. Of what? Of every clean beast. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello. If this was a Moses thing, how do I get this? System? If this is Moses law, while they were going into the ark, God told them that there are some things, some animals that are clean and some that are unclean. No, listen. If God never tell Noah that before, how would Noah know which ones he used? So, you know, there are some persons when I'm studying with them, they say, oh, I don't see. See there, I don't see it in scripture. There are some things that you will not just see right out what it is implied. You know what it means? The fact that he's telling him to take them. It means before he has a what? He already has a knowledge to know which one to take. And verse 8 says what? Of the clean beast and of the beasts that are not clean and of the fowls of the air and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. So long before there was a Moses. So let no bishop tell you say a Moses law. This was long before there was a Moses. Let me tell you something. All who say they love them pork. So they call it pork, I forget the name. 
All who claim that they love their poor, God no love him. Listen what God described it as, Isaiah 65. Listen what God says when you when you're having it. Listen what Isaiah says. I sought for them that ask not of me. I am found of them that what sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. Verse 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a what? What kind of people? You know what it is to be rebellious? When you tell somebody to do something, I don't know, I'm doing it. They are called who? Rebellious. I trust tonight that at the end of this sermon, we will not have any rebellious ones under you. But the Lord says, they are rebellious. Which one? And listen, he described who the rebellious people are now. Listen who the rebellious people are. Which walked in a way that was not good after their own work. Listen what he says. A people that does what? Provoke me to who? Anger continually to my face. That what? Sacrifice in gardens. That's one group of people. And the other one that what? Burn it incense upon what? Altars of brick. And the other one no. Which remain among what? Graves and lodge in the what? Monuments which do what? And bruise the what? Hear the come back again? The abominable things in their play. So every time you go to a jerk center, have mercy, Lord. Every time you go to a jerk center, and you say, I love me poor. One man said to me, say, one guy I was talking to him about his soul, said, he said, any church will trouble my food, me now go there. But God says, every time you put it in the plate, you provoke me to anger. Listen, man. If I tell you not to do the thing, and you keep doing it, what do you call it? Provocation. Listen what the next verse says. Verse 5. What God said to those who are provoking him. Listen what he says you must do. What God says you must do? Stand by yourself. Don't come. My team. Holy Ghost, let me preach the word. I said, help me preach the word tonight. So you believe you are fool, fool, Adventist, fool, fool. We are following the Bible. Say, I know somebody, I don't care how sweet it is. I don't care how nice it is. What God says. So God says, when you do that, you must stand by yourself. Nobody pray. <laughs> Nobody pray. God says, stand by yourself. Don't come near me. For I am what? Holier than thou. He says what? When you do this, it's like a what? You know what that is? You ever been in a place that smoke? It's annoying. So God says, it's like a fire that burns all the day. I don't know how some people, there are some folks who sit right under this tent tonight. I'm best with me. You know it? You sit on right under the tent. And watch me open the Bible. And just tell you what the Bible says. And you hear me from Hello? You hate me? Fire can you tell yourself, me now go back out there. Me now go back. Because me never come after this. When you come to this tent, you come to hear the word of the Lord. So I hear somebody say, oh, Food not defile nobody. And the Bible says, food not defile nobody. Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8. 
what Daniel says here. But Daniel purpose in his heart that he would not what? Defile himself with the portion of the king's what? In Babylon. They are so hard headed in there. Hello? They are lobster. Shrimp. Crab. And all those things in abundance. Snail. Shrimp. Mangoes. Everything in Babylon. Curry. Stew. Jerk. Hello? Barbecue. Spread before Daniel. And when Daniel went into the king's court and saw the Babylonian food, Daniel says, I don't want any of this. Because Daniel says, I'm an adventist. I'm not afraid to tell everybody tonight that all of these Bible characters are adventists. And if you can prove otherwise, come with it. If you, if Daniel was not an advent, he should have judged here. Yeah. <laughs> if, if Daniel was not an advent, he should have hear him like some of the bishops. Oh, Sister Brown. <laughs> Bless you. Bless the Lord, Sister Brown. What a lovely table. You are spread here. Oh, glory to God. Sister Brown. Oh, Sister Brown. Let us, let us pray. Let us pray. But Daniel says, Daniel purpose in his heart that he will not defile himself with the king's meat nor with the wine which the he drank Therefore, Daniel requests of the prince of the eunuch that he might not defile himself. Daniel says, I will pass. No one, no. You don't want no wine neither. Some of your adventures say, all right. Me don't want the Pope, but give me the wine. Hello? Let me tell you this. There was a, there was a, uh, uh, my brother told me something one day. He says, when you church is up, and we're having a party, and she come there, and they must serve some drinks.